I'm going to make some banana sherbet. A sherbet is a lot like a sorbet, but it has a little bit of milk fat in it. Uh, ice cream has cream in it. Gelato has milk in it. And we're making something in between, a sherbet. This banana sherbet is so delicious. It's so creamy and smooth. Great in the summer. I'm going to start off with my food processor. In it, I have four ripe bananas and I wanna make a puree out of them, so that'll just take a moment. I wanna get those few strays down there. Doesn't take a lot. I mean, even if you had left the, any chunks in, it's, it's not bad. that there's always a couple of pieces of banana that is just very stubborn. Ah, that's good enough. We don't really need that. Great. Okay, we're going to take that, put our machine away, and now we'll make the base. When you make ice cream, you, tend, you make a custard, and that's a cooked with egg yolks and everything. There's no eggs in this recipe. This is just milk and bananas and flavorings and lots of sugar. Okay, so we will start by putting our bananas in the bowl. Mmm, I love bananas. And they're so good for you. You don't find a lot of recipes for desserts with bananas. When you think of fruit desserts, you think of apples and peaches and plums and whatever, but not too many in bananas. All right, to that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of rum extract. If you don't want to use extract, you can use the real thing. Same amount, or you could add a little bit more, it doesn't matter. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to add our sugars. I'm going to start off with one half cup of regular white sugar. And then here I have corn syrup, which is a sugar three quarters of a cup. Now you can either use brown, dark corn syrup, or in this case, I found some brown sugar corn syrup and that's what I'm using. If you can't find the brown sugar corn syrup, then by all means, use just regular dark. And then I'm gonna add an equal amount of light corn syrup. So another three quarters of a cup of light corn syrup. And that goes in. You can see, this is a really pretty easy recipe so far. I'm going to mix that up a little. Okay. And then here, I have four cups of regular whole milk. The, this recipe calls for buttermilk, so I didn't have buttermilk, so I poured my four cups of milk in here, and then I added two teaspoons of white vinegar, and that sort of curdles and sours the milk, but it makes it really good in ice creams. You can see, it's kind of chunky. And just mix that up. And then as soon as this is mixed, you can either chill this before you put it in your ice cream machine, or you can put it directly in. I'm going to because the milk was cold and everything was, nothing here was really warm. I didn't have to cook it like an ice cream base, which makes it warm. Okay. Mmm. Smell the bananas already. I'm telling you, this is really good. And now what we need is we need an ice cream machine. And this is one that I have. It's a pretty popular, kind that you can get nowadays. They're fairly inexpensive. I bought this one and I was lucky enough to get a bonus. And I got two of the bowls that go in here and those are in the freezer. Usually they come with just one bowl and this costs probably under $60, but you can probably find it on sale. So what I need to do now is I need to go into my freezer and get my cold bowl. So hang on. So here's my chilled bowl. The other one is still in the freezer. This isn't going to be too much for this one bowl, so I'm probably going to have to do it in two batches. Most of the time when you make ice cream and you get, and you get the recipe, it'll be for enough to just do one of these. But this just happens to be a generous amount, and I'm not worried about it because it will not go to waste. 
So here we go, we're gonna pour some in. You don't fill it all the way to the tippy top, about, oh, 90% full. Since I'm doing it twice, I did that about 75% full. Then you put this in, real simple. And then put that on. And now I'm gonna turn the ice cream machine on and I'm gonna walk away for about 15 minutes and I'm going to come back and I will show you what it looks like after about 15 minutes. So see you then. So it's been about 20 minutes and our banana sherbet just about ready to come out. So remove the cover. Ooh, look at that ice cream. Or should I say sherbet? This is not ice cream. Okay. Mm. I think that's for me for licking off later. And now what we're going to do is get rid of that. Put it into a freezer container of some sort. I've got kind of a big one here, but don't forget I have that leftover that I'm going to do another batch of after you go home. And here, this is perfect, just this way. You do not want the ice cream or your sherbet or anything else to get rock, uh, rock hard in the ice cream freezer or it's gonna be almost impossible to get it out. And it, it won't be as good later on, it won't be as creamy. So there we go with that. Here's one that I did yesterday because we can't wait forever for this to harden up. And I also, I made some homemade cones. You don't have to do this. You can serve it in a dish. You can serve it in your bought cones. I made some twills on one of the programs recently and they're little crispy cups, cookie cups. And you could have done that instead of this. So the way I like to do this is I'm going to put some strawberries in. And then some of my sherbet. I should have left this out about five minutes sooner, but that's fine. And you can pile it as high as you want to. And this is absolutely delicious and a great summer treat. I hope you try it.